What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you didn't think I was gone. I know it's been about four months since I posted one. I've been busy, plus it's deer season. Anyway, it's uh, ending the near of fall, so we got some pumpkins to get rid of. But first, here's a quick word from our sponsor. Hi. As you can see, we have some uh, pumpkins here, but they're not just normal pumpkins. There's a they're zombies. They've been zombified by this little one. Say hey. Hi. Okay. <laughs> Calm down. Settle down. So anyway, we're going to hit one with a 357 Magnum. We're going to hit another one with a 50 cal muzzleloader. We're going to hit another one with a, uh, I guess we'll do 458 SOCOM. And then the last we'll do a 12 gauge slug. So let's get started and have some fun. All right, 357, we're, we're going to be using the Smith & Wesson model 686 plus. It's a seven shot revolver. And I lost the box, but I still got the label. This is Underwood Ammo. And that's why we're shooting 357 mag, 125 grain XTP jacket at hollow points. At a blazing 1700 feet per second. And we got the six inch barrel. So let's see what she'll do to a pumpkin. All right, 357 first. Get our ears in. Don't you love my uh, camera stands? All right, here we go. Round one. Woo! That was cool. Zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Okay, 357, uh, did a little number to them. I think that's one dead zombie pumpkin. What y'all think? Yeah, that's a big one. I know the chickens are gonna like it. All right, let's do the next one. 
Okay, next up is the muzzle loader. And if you're wondering why I'm using the muzzle loader, because muzzle loader season for deer just wrapped up here. Still rifle season here in North Carolina, but not muzzle loader. So, this is what we're shooting. We've got 100 grains of Pyrodex pellets and a 240 grain XTP hollow point. All right, muzzle loader shot. Here we go. Make sure I'm in frame. Make sure I'm in frame. Take them off. Okay. Am I good right here? Can you see me? Yeah, I yeah. can see you. Okay, get back. Get back now. Okay. Ears in. Here we go. Let's hope I hit it dead center. I'm gonna have to aim high. 50 cal muzzle loader. One, two, three. Woo! Heck yeah, Mama that was died. fun. I think the old muzzle loader did a number on it as well. Well, um. What do you think? I found part of her face that peeled off. Part of her face that peeled off, huh? Look! Ew, this one I think was rotten. It might be. It had green water. <laughs> you thought it was rotten. I put green food coloring in that one. Look. Mm-hmm. Again. Yeah. Here we go. All right, let's get the next one up.
All right, now we're going to do the 458 SOCOM. There's, come on, focus. There's the 458 SOCOM round. That is a 300 grain Hornaday jacketed hollow point. Now this is Excalibur ammo. I think they have since changed the name to Steinel. Steinel. I don't know how you pronounce it, but uh, yeah. So let's take out a pumpkin. And here's the 458. All right, here we go. 458 SOCOM, 300 grain, hollow point. On a pumpkin. Here we go. That was cool. Nice. That I don't think there's much left of that one. Oh, look, it looks like blood. That was red jello. We were going to put red jello in all of them and some green jello, but uh, it was going to take about 10 gallons of jello to fill that up. And that's not cost feasible. 458 definitely did a number. All right, last but not least, we're going to use the 12 gauge. This is a good old. TriStar, or what was this? Raptor? I don't know, I've had this for a long time. Anyway, we're gonna use some Brennicky Classic Magnums, two and three quarter, 12 gauge. So do the tail the tail weight. There you go. One and an eighth ounce. So this should uh, definitely do a number on it. This should be fun. Here we go. Alrighty, last one. 12 gauge slug. 
on the biggest pumpkin we got. This should be fun. I'm interested to see how this does compared to the 458. You think the 458 made a bigger mess or you think the slug's going to? Let's find out. Here we go. Three, two, one. What do you think? Did the 458 or the shotgun do more damage? She thinks the shotgun. That was fun. Sir, I hope you have a wonderful day. Yeah. Now we've got a mess to clean up. Uh, can we just leave? Yeah, can we leave it? I don't know. We might just let the chickens have at it. What do you think? Huh? Yeah, let the chickens out. Let, let the chickens have at it. Two and a half five gallon buckets later, and the chickens are happy with what's left over of the pumpkins. We all think. See, they don't go to waste. The chickens eat it and I eat the chicken eggs. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this fun little video. I know I had fun shooting it. Uh, I think, did you have fun? Hmm? Did you yes! have fun? Yes. Mm -hmm. I did too. <laughs> so now uh, there's a lot of pumpkin to clean up and I got to clean up my uh, tripods here tripod one and tripod two right there uh, no expenses spared here pew pew bang bang so pew pew bang bang all right y'all signing out god bless bye <laughs>